Labman Fight Fest is around the corner, robots are being built everywhere, and Medway is still a go. All this week in Robot Combat. Two, one, Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. Only a few stories to go through this week, so without further ado, let's crack on with them. Yes, and we begin with many, 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 many builds all around the world, starting with Team Gruff, who showed off a plethora of pictures of their rebuild for the potential 2021 season. This is very exciting indeed. Potentially confirmed, who knows? Part of my French robot that applied for the 2020 season of BattleBots, but then Pandemic and everything, have been rebuilding as well. Jack Tweedy is following through with his promise of building Vanguard anyway, and here you can see the very shiny robot being built and all of the other parts that arrived this week. Very cool indeed. And more parts have arrived for a certain two-headed Death Flamingo. Very exciting to see this new version being built as well. Over in the States, Kraken have been building, seeing as they received a load of parts to build. Also, many, many teams building this week. So many, so difficult to keep up with. So that is why you watch the news. Enjoy. And with that lovely bit of self-gratification out of the way, Team Deep Six have shown off a drive test of the new version, which looks very cool. I am loving this new design with the new single piece extenders out the back and front of the robot. It's a nippy little machine and by little I of course mean flipping ginormous. P1 have shown off a new logo and new name for the robot P1LM, very exciting to see that. Jumping back across to the UK and Team Asimov's loophole have done it again. The team that has so far built replicas of Chaos 2, Recyclops and Gemini, all in Beetleweight scale, have now built a Stinger in Beetleweight scale. This thing is absolutely awesome and I love it. Thwackbots are never easy at Beetleweight scale, not to this high standard anyway. Very cool. Telekinesis has received a new paint job ready for the Labman Fight Fest event. Yes, they are another confirmed team to be competing. And speaking of the event, there has been a short trailer showing off some fight footage from the pilot event that they had a few weeks ago. It looked like a lot of fun and I'm very excited to see it. Now with the four week extension to the COVID lockdown, unfortunately it means that Robots Live Grantham has been once again postponed now the 11th and 12th of September. No such thing can be said for the Medway Rapture event. They are still on for a slightly reduced event in July. Only two weeks to go to that one. Very excited as that is where the Beetleweight event will be happening. That will be hosted by myself over here on the World of Woodrow YouTube channel. A trailer for which is up on the channel right now. And you can find it in the end cards at the end of this video. Be sure to go and check that out. The official name, Chatham Challenge Belt. 2021 and that's just about all for this time i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a like do subscribe to the channel if you are new be sure to check out world of woodrow from facebook to keep up to date with all the latest news and we shall see you next time for more news bye bye